Okay, and today we're gonna go over everything you need to know about the Sweet Retreat version 2. I guess we might as well go over the encounters first, okay, and the Sweet Retreat starting with the grass encounters, okay? Basically, everything is just a repeat from the first version. Gwum is back, which evolves into Odasha at level 14, and then to Spreeze at level 25. Mochibi is also back, which evolves into Totemochi at level 18, and then into Mocho at level 32. And then Kapoink is also back, which is the route where it is the rarest of the three that I just mentioned. And to evolve into Hoganosh, you need to buy the birthday candle item from the shop in Sweet Retreats. Nimere is also back, and instead of like the alert events being like, oh, Nevermare is like now in the wild, rather than like, doing like a soft resettable version, unfortunately Nimere is like the exact same. You have to spend 150 cake points to buy a delicious cake from the Sweet Retreat shop, and then you can come to this pedestal and put a delicious cake on the pedestal, and then you'll get your Nimere encounter. So it's basically the exact same, and there isn't any new rumors in this event. Other than that low, a lot of people have been talking about the possibility of the Valentine's fan club coming back, and as you can see right next to me, the fan club is actually coming back. However, the old version that was like a Valentine's one before Sweet Retreat came out, so basically the love heart that it has has now been just turned into like a box of chocolates, and it still evolves into your snack by getting a sweet jar from the shop as well. Oh, and also it is still 1 in 100 in only the Sweet Retreat, not in the rest of the game. Okay then, and now onto something new that is in this event, okay then, so there's actually a new reskin for the Slugling line, previously we've actually had a Halloween version of Slugling where Gastrook has a cool pumpkin which is really really cool, finally got a second version of a reskin for the Slugling which is kind of like a birthday cake kind of anniversary like thing, however you can only find this in the Sweet Retreat place, you can't find this in any anywhere else in the game, also you can evolve it as well, and also for the odds it is 1 in 200, also it has got a gleaming version in Alpha and Gamma, same as the fan cub, however, unfortunately because it's like pretty common to get one in 200 is kind of easy, it's gleaming versions aren't increased, it's not easier to find the gleaming versions. As of the Sweet Retreat release, that is like all of the things that you can find, however, as you can see from the tweet on screen, this isn't going to be the only Lumians, there are going to be new Lumians and other reskins of Lumians in the future for like part 1, maybe part 2 and whatnot for a Sweet Retreat, just to let you know that this isn't the only thing that will be in Sweet Retreat, there will be more added in later on. I guess other than that we should talk about the shops, so in case you actually don't know where the shop NPC is, it's just this guy, he's just like the head chef basically, and once you trade him you get some items. So unfortunately there aren't any discs right now with the release of the Sweet Retreat version 2, uh, I believe the version 1's discs were hat ones which were like Valentine's themed so that's why they've been taken out, however I think they're going to be added in with like part 1 or 2 depending if you count this as part 1 or not, but other than that though also we got some new items which the chocolate, or the same items but a couple of new ones and a couple of differences. The chocolate bar item is a PvP item where it basically whatever move you click first you get to use for free without it draining any of your energy and then the chocolate bar is consumed. The delicious cake is for Nimere, birthday candle is for uh, Hoganosh, sweet jar is for your snack. Hoganosh saddle is also returning so if you missed it last time you can now get it. Mocho has a brand new saddle and I gotta say this is probably my favorite and the best saddle that we've had like design wise. It is such a good saddle. I'm not going to spoil it low in this video, I'll let you guys try and check it out yourself because my gosh, it's pretty darn good. And along that low, we have got some gummies and I believe in version 1, they were 20 cake points each. However, now as you can see, they've been cut in half. They are now 10 cake points each, which will make it a lot easier for people that also TP train some stuff. And also, it is still a little bit weird that we're buying like delicious cakes with cakes. So that's why I usually just refer to them as cake points. Oh, and I might as well mention it because this is like a video going over everything that you need to know. Also, to get cake points, you have to like go ahead and go onto any of the like workstations. You can see like with the green squares and just basically do the job okay. So like for this one, it's a like register okay, click whatever order they want and that's basically it. And then also if you are alone, which I am in this right now because this is basically like the test server, we can just go ahead and do all of them. So, oh, batter, easy. And then next up is the cooking process and whatnot. I think you get the gist of it. At least you will. It's Fairly straightforward, okay. Or if you don't feel like doing the mini game, like the workstation areas, you can actually just catch Lumians in the wild or KO Lumians in the wild while you're in the sweet retreat, and that will also give you cake points. I think in version one it should be one, and I think actually right now it might be one. However, I think we're thinking about increasing this to two. Oh, no, it's already two, okay, then. So yeah, if you catch or KO anything in the wild, you get two cake points as well. So if you don't want to like do the mini games, you just want to like hunt, you can also get cake points that way. 
And other than that, I think that's everything you need to know about the Sweet Retreat version 2, for at least the release of it, okay? We've also, up the upcoming weeks, we are going to get new Lumians and potentially more reskins, so I'll do videos whenever they come out. But for right now, for the release, that is everything you need to know. So with that being said, I'll leave it off here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and it helps you out. And also subscribe if you're new. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time.